well and somebody who hasn't run the high hurdles since uh, the Olympics. And that's Jasmine Camacho Quinn, who last year went undefeated and didn't get talked about as much as she probably should have just because low hurdle races were crazy. You had Safan Hassan doing triple. You had Elaine Thompson Raw running historic times. People did not talk as much about the high hurdles on the women's side as they should have, but Camacho Quinn's season was really good. Um, she runs that 12.26 in the semis in Tokyo. 12.20 you know, is a world record, and then she cruises to the win and gets the gold in 12.37, but hasn't run a hurdle race since then, has run some indoor races. Um, she is in a pretty good field here, though. You have Cunningham, who comes off an indoor medal. You have uh, Clemens, uh, Brissett in there as well, too. So some people who are legit finalists uh, or finalist contenders for World Championships and Olympics. But um, Camacho Quinn, if she's the 2021 Camacho Quinn, is, is going to be just fine in, in this field. And, I mean, you could have both high hurdle records go down this year based on how fast Holloway and Camacho Quinn ran in semis in 2021. Yeah, this race also, again, it's, I mean, Christina Clemens is probably the closest challenger, I would, I would assume, maybe Gunningham, but I would put a yeah. Clemens. I mean, Akilah Jones and Erica Bogart, they're heptathletes, I believe. Yeah. Is Akilah Jones yep. a heptathlete? I think she is. So, like, the field isn't truly, like, the best of the best. And I was thinking, why was Jasmine Camacho Quinn not as – uh, kind of flew under radar. Obviously, you have like the idea that you know there was the Sydneys out there and other top athletes who were doing great things. But I think people had yet to kind of pass the torch from Kenny Harrison to Jasmine Camacho Quinn. I think people all just assume Kenny Harrison is is the star of the one ten of the, the star of the hundred hurdles, and they weren't ready to realize that no, there's a new star, like Camacho Quinn has overtaken Kenny Harrison while Kenny Harrison still is in like the back half of her prime and the current world record holder. There's a current yeah. athlete who is going to be the favorite every time she steps on the track. And that's Camacho Quinn. So I think that's also why that just, you're always one year late to recognizing someone is good. Like, you know, that's how it is in a lot of sports, right? You're overlooked the year you win. And then once you win, then you're now become the, then you're now noticed. You know? Yeah. So yeah. I think that's probably the big reason why. So, yeah. Well, that was her I mean, first look. win yeah. over her at Against the Olympics. Her. Yeah. See, and with sports, a lot of times people focus in on what the presumed favorite is doing wrong. And we don't pay attention to what the person who's pulling the quote unquote upset. Is doing right and you're right it was right in front of our faces all year it's like Camacho Quinn's putting out a pretty crazy season here with um all these victories and then it took the 1226 to be like oh yeah it's not just someone doing something wrong it's just she's running his she's historically good right now and we don't know you know what 2022 is gonna hold I just think last year she didn't really get her due for going undefeated in her event and for the reasons you mentioned and also yeah, you go event by event. There were just big superstars in every single event and putting in big performances. You got Thompson around the one and the two, Miller Wave on the four, a Thingmo in the eight, 15 Kip Yegon, and then you have uh, Safan Hassan doing the triple. You got Muhammad and McLaughlin in the low hurdles. It's so on and on and on and on. There was no real, on the women's side, there was no real event where you're like, eh, there's no star power here. That just didn't, didn't, didn't happen in 2022. So here's her chance, though, right? She's on the radar now. Um, people are going to be talking world record when she enters races now. It's like, oh, man, can she – like if she drops a 12-3 or 12-4 in one of these opening meets, on, for all of June, that's what we're going to be talking about when she enters a race. Hey, could this be the time? Could we see a sub-12-20? Because she's done it before. 